48 million people were expected to travel during the 4th of July weekend, according to AAA. That's more than a million more than last year. And while gas prices have started to ease, they're still a major factor in travel costs. Lana Zach is here to break it all down for us. Hey, Lana. John. Well, you know what? There was actually some good news since the last time you and I spoke. You know how we've been monitoring global oil prices? Well, we're now seeing a 15% drop in wholesale gasoline future prices since they peaked back in June. So we could begin seeing some relief in the coming weeks before the summer travel season comes officially to an end. But what we've learned from this weekend, there is still a huge demand for summer travel. So anyone booking now shouldn't expect to see any major discounts. With airlines booking nearly at capacity for all their flights, airline fares are up 27% compared to last year. On an average price ticket, this means that you're going to be paying about $78 more than last year, $51 more than before the pandemic. Now, for those of us who are skipping the airports altogether, gas prices are still up 49% compared to last year, according to the Consumer Price Index. In terms of what you're actually paying at the pump, the national average is now $4.80 a gallon, which is good because it's 21 cents less than the high just three weeks ago, but it's still a buck 67 more than it was last year, more than $2 uh, compared to 20, uh, 2019. And similar travelers are expected to spend a lot of money. Let's, let's give you an example of how this would all work out. Let's say you're deciding to travel from Cincinnati to the Grand Canyon in an SUV, load up all, a whole family. This trip with fuel costs right now, we went ahead and crunched the numbers along the route. It would, you should expect to pay about $100 more for this trip than you would have last year. But we're still seeing, even as the prices have started to go down on gas travel, that there are still tens states across the nation that have higher than five dollars a gallon gas including utah which isn't usually known for having high gasoline prices so it's it's interesting to see that even as the numbers are starting to come down everyone should continue to expect to pay a bit more so has this changed behavior in the way people are traveling Absolutely. 80%, uh, 81%, I'll go ahead and be real specific <laughs> with you, John. 81% of travelers say that they are going to change their plans based off of inflation, according to NerdWallet. And with the headaches at the airport, obviously more families are opting for road trips, but they're also still going to be more expensive than they were in, in previous years. Travelers overall are expected to spend somewhere around $2,700 on summer vacation. That is up $300 per person over this time last year. But if you want some specific examples of how you can bring it down, given how the gas prices are starting to fall, anybody who has more flexible travel schedule, say you're a baby boomer or you're young, you don't have children who you have to be caring about school vacation times, try to delay those, tra those flight plans until later in the year, maybe in the fall, because there won't be as much of a demand and also fuel prices might be coming down. Another suggestion that we heard for families like mine that have plenty of children, you may want to try and book uh, hotels that have kitchenettes because you can still save a lot of money if you decide to feed those kiddos at home rather than pricey, expensive restaurants. Oh, right. So you're paying more in gas, but you can spend less than cooking at home instead you know, of going out. To paraphrase, uh, <laughs> to paraphrase um, a famous movie quote, life will find a way vacation will find a way john we just maybe have to make some cuts in other areas that's right and everybody just needs to get used to macaroni and cheese macaroni it's, you know my, my kids will be completely them. fine with that that's as long as we take them to a water park we're fine <laughs> on a sec thanks so much